So I just got back from the Worldwide Camera Awards ceremony and I'd like to congratulate Nikon for winning the Camera Company Least Willing to Change Award. They also won a Elon Musk Top 90 Most Boring Companies in Existence. So let's all clap. If we can a golf clap, if you can muster one for Nike Boy. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So Nikon told us to write down a date, March 25th, and I'm telling you what I expect to happen that night. Is it just me or does the camera industry itself feel like it's moving very slowly? I would say Nikon is one of the slowest to innovate and they release cameras so seldomly, it boggles the mind. They're almost as slow as OM system, who like, their EM-1 II is what they just beat. Like 2012, 10 years, a decade a camera? Camera a decade? Not on my watch. So frickin' Nikon finally releases a mirrorless camera, the Z6. We're all pretty underwhelmed. It's basically a Sony a7 III. And then like years later, a Z6 II that was the same camera, just different processor, couple card slots. Slut. It bored me to tears. To tears, I was. So all we have is those original two series, the Z6 and Z7, and the Mark IIs of those, and then this ultra overkill professional Z9. Where's the middleman so I can step on his throat? So according to Nikon rumors, we might be getting a Z8, which doesn't make a lot of sense. It's basically, I thought the Z7 was your high megapixel thing. Oh, you're welcome. I did nothing. So Z7 is the high megapixel. Now they're doing a Z8 to replace that instead of a Z7 III. Racist. The more exciting rumor is the potential of a Z6 III. Now, if Nikon pulls out a video-centric bone out of their thigh for once and focuses on vloggers, you might have something. I don't have a ton of faith that Nikon has any idea what a vlogger even wants. Apparently, all the camera companies think a vlogger is just some teeny bopper who needs the most basic technology worse than anything that exists right now. They just make whatever we have now and make it. Why are you making the noises? Bear with me for a second here. That's a slippery hill. Oh, I'm gonna die down this hill. Why do I come here in the winter? You'll be fine, right, Zone? You'll be fine, I believe. So, Nikon, huh? Apparently at that C-plus booth, that whole show, Nikon was showing off their vlogging camera, the Z30. In what world? Is that made for vloggers? There's no IBIS. You have one lens with lens stabe that's wide and that's a kit lens. There you go. What a dream come true. You dream boat asshole. I hope your wife lays the anchor down and you don't catch as many fish. Nikon is so photocentric, it's sickening. And I don't know that they even have the potential to do good video. I, apparently the Z9 raw is like worse than just a basic Sony codec inside. Like it's not actual raw, it's N-RAW. It means not raw. That's bullshit. So it's like, they have no cinema line to protect. They just suck at video. So it's not like they're intentionally crippling their video specs to protect a lineup. They just don't really know what the creator wants. All I really want is a flippy screen so I can see the damn shot. You have to understand something. On one side, basically any Nikon camera could be used for what I'm doing right now and it'd be fantastic better than my phone, obviously. Although nothing is. But on the other hand, like you want nice things. There's not one Nikon camera that does log. 
like except the Z9. This no one's vlogging with that or doing YouTube. The Z6, like you can't even shoot log. How is that a possibility? But the backbones are there. In Nikon, they have really good IBIS, good autofocus, like everything is there. They have slow motion, not slow enough. It's not 240 frames or 480, but they have at least 120 frames with autofocus, like decent stuff. Color science, I'm not so sure about that one. There seems to be a Nikon pig pink to the skin tones. It's a strange phenomenon. And when you get into the shadows, a bluish, like gray squirrel type skin tone, and it's off. It's not, I think I prefer Sony color science. And if I had to throw up in my mouth right now and swallow it, it'd be better than anything you've ever seen out of a Sony camera. Hopefully Nikon releases something with a fully articulating screen so YouTubers can make videos of themselves talking shit about your company. It's a good payoff, do it. And if not, then okay, maybe it's for wildlife. Are you at least beating the Sony a7S III? Three years later, I doubt it. And where's my 200 to 600 already? They have like, what, eight wildlife lenses now? It's like a seven 400 mil focal lengths, which is not long enough. And then an 800, which is too long. And then a 600 costs like 30 grand. Where's the balance? Where's this lens in a Nikon red? Why am I wearing ankle socks? I keep kicking snow up into my boots. Oh God, the lav mic cord is stuck. These are the situations vloggers find themselves in, not one that Nikon will help you escape. I'll be so disappointed if the Z6 III comes out and it's just like kind of matching, oh my God, like the S5 II or something. Like just basic stuff. If it, there's nothing new in there to excite me, like something different than what we already have, something better. Nikon usually just plays the catch up game. I've put a lot of ketchup on my fries in the past, and it never digests well. This is why no one's talking about Nikon, in my opinion, is because they never come out with anything different. There's no reason to switch to a Nikon. Like, why would you do it? There's What advantage do you have? Best IBIS is in Panasonic. Best autofocus, Sony. Slowest frame rate, Sony. Best color, Canon. What does Nikon do? They do some of all of the stuff, but less and worse. I could do less and worse in bed. And I do. Every, every night. You don't hear me complaining about it. This is not a trail. What was that? I don't know. Is it dog man? Oh, God. Ah. I'll be honest with you, I'm very content right now with the Sony a7S III and this phone from three years ago. I, you cannot beat it. For vlogging and YouTube, just switch the lens out for a Zeiss Battis 25mm, boom. It's doing studio stuff. If I want to vlog, 20mm 1.8, boom. Wildlife, boom. And then a phone for vlogging until someone beats that, unlikely. And so like, what do I even do here? I'm struggling to find reasons to survive. I just find myself so uninterested in the camera gear lately, it's not even fun to talk about. So I'm forced to just use what I have to create things. And that's a different world. That's not what I signed up for. I feel like I'm in a submarine flying through the air. They're not meant to do that. So like, what do you do? I, I want to talk about new gear coming, and nothing's coming. It's the slowest snail pace industry I've ever seen. It's a desperate. I'm ashamed to be a part of it. Why did I say the word desperate? It didn't fit. Nothing fits. Not even my shoes. You know the sad thing? Nikon abandoned the one unique thing they ever had. That DL one-inch sensor point and shoot. It was an 18 to 50, 1.8 to 2.8 and they left it. They didn't even release the thing. I bet you somebody has a prototype in there. They're vlogging on it. That was the one time it was like, no one's done that. Wow, that's perfect. That's what the ZV-1 should have been. But Sony refuses to do it. They just recycle old parts for their vloggers. They don't come up with anything new. 
With Nikon, while having the potential to innovate, they don't actually release the products. That's painful, man. So like if this Z6 III comes out and it's just like a 24 megapixel, same basic thing, 120 frames per second, 4K 60, no crop. Wow. Like cry me a river. I hope you drown in it. That's not exciting and nobody is switching to Nikon for that. But you come out with an 8 megapixel, 16 by 9 sensor type of thing. We're going all in on video. This is our video camcorder from Nikon. Oh my God, it does a thousand frames per second. What? I, I need to switch the flippy screen. New color science, log, log two and log two. Wow, not log two. Yeah, I see behind your lies. So I don't hold a ton of faith that Nikon will do anything out of the ordinary but they could, and I hope they do, and I'm willing to look at you. I wouldn't say I'm switching from the A7S III, I doubt you're even matching those specs, but hopefully something happens out of the ordinary. Just make a rainbow kitten already so I can step on it. Oh, there's little chickadees. Oh, I am not prepared. I am not prepared. Hey, buddy. Hey. So let me know down below, what are the reasons to use Nikon for video? What have you found to be like, you know what? Nobody does it like Nikon. Let me know down below and I will delete your comment. Thank you for participating in our weekly poll. What the hell was that? Was it an owl or a chickadee? How could I confuse them? Oh, well, it's been done. A little small and nimble to be an owl. Eileen, deer. I think that was a deer. Okay, I'm leaving. Subscribing for more videos? If you do, I'll see you in the next one.